Hey guys, Clint Sharm with Kanoff Academy here and I want to talk about why getting insulation right is so important. Behind me is a 4x8 section of wall. Uh, we see we have two bats and an open cavity and I, I did that so we can see the stud. We've got studs running down the wall and the top plate going across and a bottom plate uh, going along the bottom of the wall. If we add all that surface area together, we get right around four square feet just in this section of wall that can't be insulated. This piece of insulation does much better at stopping heat and energy flow than this piece of wood does. Um, so we already have a slightly compromised wall and energy is not something that always moves uh, in a linear fashion. So uh, if we have a pipe or an obstruction or wire uh, and we compress the insulation behind it or all of it in front of it and we don't fill the entire cavity around, there's going to be a lot more energy transfer that happens there versus uh, the rest of the cavity here. And the same goes for this, uh, this stud here. There's gonna be a lot more energy that moves through it than through the insulation itself. Now if we added a window uh, to this wall, a standard size uh, 36 by 36 window, uh, we're gonna add about uh, with the window and the, the framing that accompanies it, around 14 feet of uninsulated space to this wall. So that makes a big difference in uh, how energy flows. And if we take just a 5% reduction in getting our insulation right when we install it um, throughout the rest of the places we can insulate, that actually results in a, a much larger energy loss than we would anticipate. Um, just that 5% reduction uh, in climate zone five here where we are equates to about 1700 kilowatt hours of energy used per year extra um, or on a national average that's right around $150. So we have one chance to get our insulation right whether we are remodeling or building new uh, and we need to make sure that we do it no matter what the system is uh, as perfectly as we can.